All right, guys, here we are at the top of Brown Mountain. I've been coming up here for over 20 years and never seen it snow up here. We've got snow lower in the mountains, I mean, higher in the mountains, obviously. And I rode a snow ride up to Inspiration Point, but I've never rode up here and, and got the snow. Usually we just figured it would never get this low and come up here. So I went up to the top, changed into all my winter gear, or 85% of my winter gear. I don't have that much. And and there's going to be a lot of that with rocks thrown into the trail. And it's a little more challenging with a full suspension. I mean, with a not having a full suspension and dealing with that, but it is what it is. This part, at least the trail is somewhat clear. And we have, we're just riding on mud from the melted snow. I've got a balakava on my face. I've got my goggles on. I've got gloves. Well, you can see my gloves with glove liners, but my hands are still pretty cold. The glove liners don't, these gloves are not really like winter, winter gloves. I've never bought like serious winter gloves just because I live in Southern California and I see no need to. And I'm gonna ride in this stuff, what, you know, once a year, if I, if that, once every 10 years. I mean, the last time I rode in the snow like this was about 15 years ago with my best friend Lloyd. And that's when we had hard tails with V brakes. If it was about 15, 20 years ago, that's what we rode. And now I'm riding hardtail with with disc brakes, but well, it's it is almost like bikes bike sledding or whatever you just kind of go by let it slip, slip and kind of stay into your stay in your lane <laughs> and not and hopefully you get through the snow and and it doesn't doesn't slide you off the mountain <laughs> anyway and then when you get to this, it's always nice. This is, I could do this all day on this stuff. Uh, I'm hoping my, I'm hoping my hands will warm up a little bit because they're really cold. But, I can't expect them to warm. I do have a hand warmer. I don't know if my tire would have made it up that. I needed to carry speed because it's slippery. Now with the snow like this and, and the rain and the storms we've been having, what you have, and you guys know this, that live in the winter climate, the winter areas is that you have trees like this that get weighted down and block the trail so that's what happens now this is a pedaly section i saw two other guys up here on regular bikes i didn't see any e-bikes today I'm surprised I think if I had an e-bike it would have been this would have been a good place 
to come up and uh, have all to myself, right? This is hard to get started in pedaling because you're pedaling on on slush. I'd rather pedal on it than walk through it. But I do have waterproof showers pass, waterproof socks. It just, it's hard to get going. And that just clotheslined my head on that branch. Come on. Look at this snow, you guys. Those guys that are my locals here, I'm sure you've never seen it like this. Okay, let's see if I can get this going now. Trying to get my damn feet to clip in. I think I've got a bunch of small pebbles, mud in my cleats. Plus my feet are numb. I don't have dexterity in my feet, if you will. And when I was climbing up through this stuff, I must have smashed my balls at least three or four times. Oh my God. Come on. Those branches just grab you and don't want you to go by. Come on. <sighs> Look at that crap. Come on, get out of there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Let gravity take me down. Gravity is my friend. But those trees will freaking reach out and rip your arm off your handlebars. Okay, here we go. I wish my right hand would warm up a little bit. Because my hands are freezing, you guys. Oh. It seemed like a good idea to come up here in the snow. But once you get up here, you're like, Okay, was this such a good idea? Well, look how beautiful it is though, it is kind of cool. You don't want to go towards that ledge. <sighs> there you go. Now this is the snowiest section. I could I tell you that because I remember when I was climbing up it.
This is where I wish I had flats on this bike right now because I can't even get my SPDs to clip in and then when they're not clipped in they're not as easy to control. And if I have flats, God, that tree! Jesus, these trees. They want to grab me and just yank my arm off my handlebars. Okay. Okay. Oh, my hands are freezing. When I get to the climbing part, I'm going to warm up my hands with my hand warmer. I did, I do have a little hand warmer that I brought. And, oh, I think I got my clips in. That was nice. So here it is, you guys. There's the part that's a little nicer. Fingers are freezing. <sighs> but at least I got traction and I can ride the shit out of this. And there's no trees grabbing me. You guys that ride, do winter riding and ride your flat, the, the, the super fat tire that likes in the, in the snow, my gosh, more power to you. You guys really must like the cold weather. Oh, the, it's nice to get to here. gosh okay guys I'm gonna pause come on go in the clips oh there we go I'm gonna pause here pretty soon and pull my hand warmer out and try to warm my fingers because I can barely feel my fingers right now and we don't want to not be able to break. And that was all the snow anyway. So the rest of the trail is just cold. We know it's snow. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.